Globally, every minute a man dies by suicide, according to the charity Movember. And the message is clear, too many men are struggling alone. The NHS say that sport can help to alleviate mental health problems. And for Pound for Pound Gym in Southampton, it's boxing. It's a dining experience like no other and can be summed up with three C's, coffee, cake and cats. Pause for Thought Cafe in Romsey, Hampshire's first cat cafe, opened its doors and hundreds of people flocked to the scene to meet the resident felines. But at the heart of the cafe, there's an important message, and that is animal adoption. The resident cats, Zina, Chiara, Lena and Nala, are rescue cats who were found abandoned in Romania. I lost my cat in 2016, who I'd had for 16 years, um, and um, it was horrendous. Studies have found that being around cats like Nala here release calming chemicals in our bodies which lower stress and anxiety levels. And according to Cats Protection, 76% of us feel happier when we're around our furry friends. But how do cats feel about being around us? A 30% rise in hate crime since 2015. According to Southampton City Council, almost 600 incidents were reported last year. Grabbed mine um, and pointed at my skin and said, Yes, that is my issue. From the Winnell News Centre at 10. The European Union insists it won't renegotiate the Prime Minister's Brexit deal. It comes after Theresa May told MPs she would look for reassurances about the Irish border. She's postponed a parliamentary vote on her terms, which was due to take place tomorrow. Over 1,500 reports of transgender-targeted hate crime have been recorded in England and Wales in the last year. That's according to Home Office figures. 66-year-old Katie Yeomans has experienced transphobic hate crime herself. I was sitting there minding my own business and I got into an argument with a guy. Well, he was arguing with me, I wasn't arguing with him. And he threw a pint of beer over me. The police dealt with it very, very professionally. Every second a man dies by suicide, according to the charity Movember. But many men have found that boxing helps to improve their mental health. James, who works out at Pound for Pound Gym in Southampton, says he's seen positive changes in his mental well-being since joining. I was in a bad place for a little while and uh, coming to the gym is the only time where I kind of forgot about it. And I've done a lot of things that I thought I'd never really do, so it's kind of pushed me out of my comfort zone. Meanwhile, one in ten of us sends a Christmas card to our pets. Royal Mail carried out a survey and discovered that 3% also send one to an ex-partner. And in showbiz news, Harry Redknapp says he's amazed after winning I'm a Celebrity. The former football manager was crowned King of the Jungle last night, with actress Emily Atak finishing second.